Okay, today we've got an update on the trombone fountain. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff on the internet, uh, a, lot of, a lot of lies and a lot of things that uh, are too good to believe. Uh, well, I'm going to follow up on the trombone fountain because I don't want people to fall into that trap with this. And I apologize if you've already built one to the specifications that I have listed. Um, but there was a problem in the trombone fountain that I built, and it turns out that I'm not a structural engineer in terms of anticipating the weight of pond rocks and the structural stability of a plastic bucket from Home Depot. Now, when I got this plastic bucket here, it says right here on the outside, all purpose, which I thought meant, well, purpose, trombone fountain, all. That's one of the things listed under all is a trombone fountain. But I guess the key word is mixing container. Since there was no mixing taking place in there, I can understand um, why it broke. So basically what happened was uh, the rocks pushed down on it and it caused a split in the, the bottom of the bucket there, which turns out doesn't work anymore when it can't hold water. So what I ended up doing here was uh, taking a little bit different bucket, a little bit smaller, and then just building a little structure around the outside of it with some scrap wood just cut to size um, that kind of acts as an exoskeleton to the bucket on the inside. And so far so good, this thing's been holding up for, uh, for a week or so now. So uh, if you're gonna make that trombone fountain, make sure your plastic bucket can support the weight of whatever rocks you use on top. So thanks for watching and uh, be sure and subscribe for more trombone fountains. I'm never going to make another trombone fountain, but be sure and subscribe. Okay. Stop it.